Hey you guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well on this somewhat beautiful day. Um, I say that because when I woke up this morning, I kid you not, I opened the blinds and I'm like, oh my God, there's a fire. Like, I, I, I kid you not, I'm not even being sarcastic. I thought that there was a fire in the neighborhood and I'm like, <sighs> and then I opened the other blind. I'm like, wait a second. No, it's just a very dense fog. So, but it's still gorgeous nonetheless. Well, not really. I mean, you... You get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well wherever you guys are located. I hope you guys are staying cool. If you are in an area that is pretty still hot, keep this in mind. Summer's almost over. So we're going to be complaining, well, depending again where you live, um, about the weather too. Some people may complain about it being too cold or we're getting heavy snow. Anyways, you, nature, right? Human nature. We can't please each other. Dang, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, without further ado, let's get back to this video. All right, so today's video, we are going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm from Ipsy. The, why well, I want to say glam bag. Sorry, squirrel moment. We're unboxing my BoxyCharm by Ipsy for the month of August. I, hold on a second. It's still early in the morning when I'm recording this, so... If you know, you know. Okay, oh, real quick. I got creamer in here. I, I was trying to make it a go to drink black coffee. <coughs> um, black coffee isn't always the most, like, doesn't have the taste. Do you know what I mean? Because I remember in the last video I said, okay, I need to drink more black coffee if I want to drink coffee. Because um, I have high cholesterol. And I guess apparently if you drink black coffee, it helps with your cholesterol and your sugar levels, all of that, of, of, of course, because you're not adding all of that extra sweetener creamer in there, right? Anyways, another score moment. Sorry, I went off track. All right, you guys, if you are new to my channel, hopefully I haven't scared you away. I'm pretty much like this all the time. I usually have random conversations here and there um, because something just pops in my head. I swear, I feel like I have ADHD, but it's it's just a self-diagnosed ADHD level. And no, not that I'm making fun of anybody that has ADHD, but all my kids have ADHD. So when I see, and they are medically confirmed. So again, <laughs> because me, I'm just self-proclaimed. Um, I see them and I'm like, oh my God, that's how I am. I'm like, is it, you know what I mean? Like a, a generation X, we never went to like the medical field to get expertise help. I shouldn't say we didn't. Some of us did. If you had parents who really cared, I'm not saying that mine did not You get what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, where was I? So yeah, so I'm self Diagnose so because I see characteristic traits. I'm like, uh, I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. I'm still like that So anyways, where were we? <laughs> if you haven't already left, that's what I was saying Please hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell as well So anytime I upload a new video you automatically get the notifications guaranteed to be a hot mess That should be the slogan of my channel guaranteed to be guaranteed to be Guaranteed to be a hot mess We got it right after it only took what six years <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead unbox my box each charm by Ipsy for the month of August and see exactly what goodies we got because clearly this train has already left the station, but I'm still back there. That's okay though. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started real quick. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm, I'm not trying to be like nitpicky. Okay. Long story short, if I can try to make a long story short, which I will, as I'm opening my box for BoxyCharm, is that, okay, so every single summer, we take our oldest son to St. John's Northwestern uh, Military School during the summer for about a, uh, about a week. Um, and it's basically, it's to train the youth. It's open for girls and boys um, to kind of like just to prepare them, learning leadership skills, communication skills, um, uh, team building skills, all of that, right? So that's pretty much what they do. Sorry about my dog, Ross Geller is in the back. He is snoring, so you may hear him. So every year we do that. He goes for about a week and he absolutely loves it. He actually wants to go to the school but the school is a private school. So with that being said, we can't afford to send him. Okay, we can't afford to obviously send him to that school because it is pretty pricey. Now, okay, this is what I feel is really messed up. Um, okay, so I did submit an online application for him to go to the school 
this past spring in April. The year prior, by the end of the year, I had submitted a FAST like application, I believe that's what it's called, or fax. I can't remember. Um, where basically you can see if you can get a gr um, like a grant or financial aid to help cover the cost of tuition for school. So I applied for that, um, but I had I did it I guess too early because it was supposed to be for the next school year. So they put it to the side. Which somebody told me at the time that they were going to use that information for the following year. Whatever. So I, I applied in April. Let's keep a track on there. And then as we picked them up. Oh, just past weekend, I haven't heard anything about if he was accepted into the school, if he wasn't. Um, we called one of the deans, I believe, the VPs of the school. We spoke to him. He was really nice. He said, yeah, he's actually enrolled. He's in, like, what do you mean he's enrolled? Like, no one told us, right? So... Um, and then they have like a parent portal where you can log in, see the application status. They must have changed the app. They must have changed the actual like platform of it because I could no longer access the parent portal. So then later that day, I get an email saying that our child was accepted into the program, blah, blah, blah. That's great. That's like half of getting into the school. The other half is coming up with the tuition. So then they sent like an attachment within that email where you click on the contract and see what where you fall under and you know and what the payment plan would be. So the school tuition is like forty thousand for the year, and this isn't including any financial grants or scholarships or anything like that, because now we have to reapply for that all again. And then that's that alone is based on your family size and your family income on how much you're going to get, which. I understand like people who are lower income um, they should be able to have that opportunity if that is something that they want to pursue but I also feel like a certain group and this is just in general this isn't just with the school I feel that middle-class people or households who make us who make a certain amount of money get hit really hard in today's financial status I feel that either you make too little and if you make too little you are pr given uh, um, resources which that is the goal because I've been in that situation with my mom and a family growing up where we were low income where we were presented options and we utilize those to get ahead in life that's the purpose of that or you're well off financially and you can pay for it clear out and then you get tax breaks but if you're the middle class you make a certain amount of income you're just screwed and that's where we're at like we don't get any assistance and then we gotta pay for it so i'm like okay they get it pretty much for free and then they can write that off it's like it's yeah anyways that's just my pitchy moments so anyways so da -da -da. hopefully i'm not the only one i know i'm not the only one because middle class right now is getting hit really hard in terms of like everything groceries and, and that's just anybody in, in reality um home um taxes like all of that is just being okay off my pedestal all right you guys so let's go ahead and open this box of goodies <laughs> okay all right so let's see Again, we always get this information. However, like I noticed, yes. So we got six to September choice picks. Again, I just found this out like two months ago. Like that's actually on there. You can see like, oh, cool beans. All right, so let me give you a close up of the items that uh, I got. All right, let's take a look. Oh yeah, there is one item I remember getting or choosing it's this one right here it is the vacation by vacation it is the classic lotion it is a broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen now i got this because i ended up buying the perfume which i believe yeah i did i did a review on this perfume brand um that was actually the first product out of this brand i'm like oh my god so nostalgia like it reminded me of like banana boat so i ended up getting this because i wanted to get this initially and um i didn't buy it i'm not sure why i didn't buy it from ulta oh that's why because it wasn't on sale so i'm taking off the safety steel steel safety seal and I just want to put a little bit on this. Granted, it would have been nice to get this a little bit sooner during um, during like the the moment of summer. But you can use SPF all year round, which you should to protect your skin. Um, 
let me take a look so that's the consistency of it just in case you want to take a look it's not too thick and it's not too like watered down a good a good variation so it does smell like it smells like to me every time i smell the scent it, it makes me think of like early early 90s late 80s where i'm walking on the beach <laughs> <laughs> or at a, at, a, uh, at a lake and you can smell people just lathering themselves up with like baby oil which you weren't supposed to do and no one knew about that um you weren't supposed to like lather yourself with baby oil to get a suntan because that was actually cooking your skin <laughs> but this is what it reminds me of so i'm glad that i got this okay cool beans i got that all right so the next item we have here what is this i don't know oh so this is from the new company it is for your skin of course it is the skin filter serum it is it says right here hopefully you're able to pick that up this is all in one thought i'm not sure how you pronounce that tile retinol a a h and a or h a I'm not sure exactly what that means all right let me take a look and see so there are directions right here it says directions apply one to two pumps to face after cleansing and in with moisturizer all right, let's go ahead and take this out of the bottle. Take a oh, this bottle's gorgeous, right? It looks very fancy. I don't know what the retail value is for these items because, unfortunately, as we know, with BoxyCharm, with the pamphlet that they give us, it doesn't tell us the cost. Yes, I can go ahead and go into the mobile app to see the price point, but I ain't got time for that. Anyways, you guys, so the next item that we have here is from Farah. This is a gel eyeliner duo. Okay pretty packaging i'm not gonna lie it's actually really cute so there's two in here let's take a look and see how these look oh that's pretty cool i was expecting them both to be black pa um packaging but one's this nice purple here so let's take a look are these retractable oh yeah they are okay so as i mentioned these are gel let's see whoa that's really nicely black color look at that it's a really black color man he snores in the background all right, so <laughs> is there a color name for these? I think there is. I can't really read it. Wait, absolute black and burnt purple. What's a burnt purple? Never heard of that word before. Burnt purple. And burnt purple is not there. Look, you guys. No. There's, I might have to send um, BoxyCharm a message. Look, nothing's there. Okay, so if anybody else on <laughs> in the universe who's watching this video who also receives BoxyCharm, who also picked this product out, did you have the same dilemma? Look, you see, I'm, look, I'm not lying. So this is my evidence. So BoxyCharm, I'm not lying. Nothing's in there. Look at this. So I can't tell you how this looks like or how this is. <gasps> it's in here. It's It was broken. Look, because when I put it back in, look at this. Okay. Well. All right. Got a contact boxy time. Hopefully I can get a replacement. That sucks. All right, you guys. So next item we have here. This is from Too Faced. This is one of their highly popular mascaras. It's better than, you know. I, I, do, I despise brands when they sexualize their product names. I, I do. I'm not prude, but I just don't like it. Um, but anyways, I hear this is a great mascara. I do have a little sample of it that I've used before. It's all right. It's, it's whatever. I think it's a little overly hype, but whatever. All right. So the last and final product that we received, it is from, which is hard to see, it's from Ever ever eden hopefully you're able to see that the lighting it's a little kind of washing it out but it's a brand from ever eden and it is a nourishing nourishing facial cleansing oil i ended up picking this up because i was kind of clear clear curious as to how the cleansing oil was going to perform it was going to be liquidy i don't know let me take a look so it has a safety seal i'm not going to obviously open it because i'm not in my bathroom and i want to make a Okay, it sounds liquidy, right? Yeah. So hopefully this performs well and hopefully is not going to cause any like, like, 
I don't want to say breakage, but any issues in terms of like my skin because it is oil based. So they say, I don't know. I mean, but right here it does say it has sunflower seed oil, ar uh, uh, argon oil, Joja, Joja, ba, I can't say these words, um, seed oil, non-toxic, hyaluronic, wait, no, hyal, I give up. I cannot say some of these words. Anyways, it sounds like it's going to work well. Fingers crossed, right? All right, you guys. So that was my unbox of my unboxing of BoxyCharm. I see a lot of that in here right now uh, for the month of August. I am okay with everything that I got. It just, unfortunately, as you saw, I don't know how it got when you took, look at this. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate that this came out like this so definitely gonna have to send boxy charm a message about this being defective um, at least this one is let me make sure was this a user issue no it, i think it's just the way who however it was packaged it just wasn't packaged in here correctly so sucks for me right anyways you guys definitely leave a comment below let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions again if you do receive boxy charm by ipsy if you did receive a different variation, which items did you receive? Were they hit? Were they misses? Or if you were twinsies like me, which ones did you like and which ones you didn't? Let me know if you guys did receive this. Did it come out defective like mine too? Because if so, sorry that happened to you. Because we all know that can be an uh, inconvenience, especially now having to send them a message and who knows if they're even reading it. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't done so already, please, before you leave, be obliged. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. But until then, as always, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye now.